Um, I think you got one more in you? Yeah, we can do one more. Okay. We might as well get to the dad book part, because this is the good part. Okay. Audio sync. Three, two, one. Yeah. All right, we're back. So Amanda's well, going to help. You, you, set you, up. Always, you always do that way too close to the clap. Oh. Give me one more. And we're back. And we're back. All right. Sorry, it's, I have to edit this. You don't. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, all right, we're doing the dad book. Yeah. Hit me up. Interesting on an internet. Let's do. Let's just go. <laughs> She's, Keep going. I threw you off your rhythm. Yeah, you did. Oh, jeez. Uh, Amanda spends the next couple minutes setting up my profile on Dad Book, on the book, which turns out is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood and also set up intimate encounters. Uh. All right, pops. We gotta fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. Yeah. <laughs> On Friday night, you are most likely to... Oh, good. Actual gameplay. Hey, guys. Welcome to my pro speedrunning strat for dad book. On a Friday night, you are most likely to... Now, you just got to read these as quick as possible in order to get the best score. So you're just going to do the speed reading style. On a Friday night, you are most likely to polish and sort my coin collection, Netflix and grill, baby, fall asleep watching history and channel, torment my children with dad puns, sink into a blissful oblivion, a.k.a. sleep. I am most likely to Netflix and grill because that is literally what we do. Mm-hmm. All right. Next up, if you had to take one thing on a desert island, what would it be? All right. Again, speed reading is key, but you also have to understand what you're reading. So, my trusty grill and my lost salt shaker is the f- oh god damn <laughs> shit. My last salt, my last shaker of salt, cast away on DVD for instructional purposes. A boat. Obviously, I don't need anything. My survival skills have trained me for this day. Obviously, I'm gonna want. Uh, my survival skills. This one? Yeah. A knife. A knife. A knife. A big knife, like a machete. Knife. I'm just... <laughs> I'm going to, like, after a effects, knife. a knife in my hand. Put a knife there. A knife. <laughs> what are your turn-ons? What are your turn-ons? Again, now you also need to read it really fast, comprehend it really fast, and also take a mental tally of your penis situation. <laughs> what are your turn-ons? Strong dad arms, tennis shoes with long white socks, a mil- well-manicured lawn, street smaller, stop to and shift comfortable with crying. Um, strong, strong dad. I love being held. We know you do. Yeah. My little spoon. Yeah. <laughs> And finally, it's uh, the what would you like to be when you grow up. So not only do you have to read fast, comprehend, make a mental note of your penis, and you also have to know what pays you the most and what feels good as a dad. So let's, let's do the whole thing really, really quickly here. What do you want to be when you grow up? Technical writer for manuals and instructional, salty yeah. boat captain, pro skater who is also an astronaut, good father, president of space. Well, obviously, president of space, because that pays the best. And that was the pro... Oh, no, we've got one more. What is your favorite genre of mu- movie? And now you also have to know what is the best Oscar category. So... <laughs> War documentaries, Sean Connery's entire filmography, anything on laser discs, romantic comedies, whatever will make me cry, old comedies that haven't aged well. No, come on. You know what I'm you know what I'm actually about. Yeah. <laughs> what is your ideal date? Now you have to double check your penis situation. No, don't double check anything. Double leave, check just check leave it each alone. individual ball. <laughs> Napping together, doing a thousand piece puzzle together, eating healthy dinner at four PM, trying to geocache for getting hopeless. Oh well, we did that one. So oh. that's Trying to geocache and getting hopelessly lost. This one? That's us. Yeah, that is. Getting what do you never leave home with that? Holy fuck, there's a lot of these. There is a lot of those. That was what I'm saying. Don't get over excited. Uh, sensible cardigan. My sick vape of book. My book sick of vape. <laughs> oh, I don't. Okay. Okay, so I hey, there's own. there's your cool knife. Oh, yeah, cool there, knife. There's your cool I knife. I do own a vape pen because I quit smoking multiple times over the past. Vape life. Yeah. Hashtag. Gotta have my vape, as the McElroy say. I wonder if I can get that graphic. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, I would say. Probably. I, I frequently forget my phone, As keys, and wallet at home, and sometimes I forget myself at home, too. That's, that's lot, more like me. <laughs> I spend a lot of time thinking about. Mm hmm. Mm. Coffee. Yeah. God, she knows me. <laughs> Shit. No Yay! Good. See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day here on here just looking at people's profiles. You should message one of them. Or more than one of them. All of those dads seem to be pretty interesting. Okay. I promise I'll make some friends. Better. Go get them, dad. Welcome. <gasps> we should totally do an episode. I've got At least dads. of one date. Uh, we could probably we could probably knock out one. Do you want to start one? Oh uh, yeah, let's just let's do one here. Which dad um, are you pursuing at this like? <clears throat> which one did you want to try first? Hmm. Who am I going to? Well, let's let's knock out the ones that I'm not I'm not hella interested in. So let's yeah. go ahead and take a look at Joseph because I don't okay. think anybody's done that. Voted Maple Bay's number one youth minister. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna do the announcer voice, I guess. Apparently. <laughs> Voted number one, Maple Bay's number one youth minister for five years running, living in my hometown with my beautiful wife, my, and our four amazing kids. If I'm not in church, you can catch me out on the open water setting sail on the seas of adventure. I love playing guitar and crushing my kids at Candy Land. That game is super easy and I love it. On Friday nights, you are most likely to lead a community in a fun mixer. Yeah. If you had one thing to take with you on Desert Island, what would it be? My six string. What are your talents? My loving wife. Yeah. <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? Ship captain. You obviously look like one. Yeah, hence the hence yeah. this whole situation right here. Yeah, that whole sweater thing. Yeah. What is your ideal date? Lovely night on the town with my wife. Did you miss the movie? Did oh. You read the movie one? Feel good movies. Feel good movies. Uh, what do you never leave home without? The good book. <laughs> the Hobbit. The by J.R.R. Tolkien. It <laughs> is a good book. <laughs> what I spend my, a lot of my time thinking about? How I can be a better man, husband, and father. And father. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's... He just sounds too perfect. Let's check out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he probably would probably have a great buns. His family's a little weird, but Joseph thinks cool. I should take him up on his offer to hang out. Wait, how do I hang out with a priest? I don't go to church. Should I be Jesus-y? Jesus oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> hey Zeusy? Yeah, hey Zeusy. Let's go with that. Uh, I imagine Joseph's family is staring at me as I fumble through some sort of prayer attempt. Maybe not too hey Zeusy. A light smattering of hazes. Will you want me to pray? <laughs> That's the way they say it. Well, yeah. Je Jeebus? Je oh, Jeebus. Jeebus, yeah. <laughs> Save me, Jeebus! <laughs> He's not going to make me renounce Satan, is he? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gone on a date with Joseph yet, so this will be real fun for both yeah. of us. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's... Gah! It's my child! I thought you Amanda, left. <laughs> how many times have I told you not to sneak up on me? I severely no, selectively. I've selectively ignored every time you do, Pops. Oh, she's okay. What? Hey. They look hey. pretty rough. Hey. Hey. You doing okay there, kiddo? Oh, uh, of course. I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. I was just starting to think about how there's a bunch of people who still don't think aliens exist, and it's bumming me out. Like, space is so infinite and huge, just because you can't conceive it doesn't mean it do can't exist. And I understand that... Fermi paradox. Fermi paradox? But to be completely right off the aliens, there's no... There's, there's so much stuff we just don't know. Science Corner. The Fermi paradox is, if there were intelligent life... Uh, capable of contacting us, mm -hmm. they would have existed long enough to create technology in order to contact us. So far, and therefore, because we haven't been contacted by intelligent aliens, there can't possibly be one. That's the paradox. Oh. But because, you know, Earth is young, universally speaking, mm -hmm. there must be other life, but if there was, then they would have contacted us, and therefore there can't be, but 
like back and forth. Yeah. That sort of thing. That's the paradox. Oh, crazy. <clears throat> I'll be okay. Yeah. I'm glad. But aliens are definitely out there, and I hope one day they'll be my friend. <laughs> uh, let's do that. You know, if there's anything going on, I just want you to know that I'm here for you, and I'll always be here for you, and I'll continue to always be here for you, and, you know, so, coming up next, coming up next, whether you need a shoulder to cry on or a strong bat to kick someone's butt, I'm only a phone call away. And then the credits roll. <laughs> 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 <laughs>